the clients in the beginning came to us and they asked us if it's possible, can you use durable and sustainable materials? When we heard that with the green coat it's made with the Swedish rapeseed oil, well then it fits perfectly with the wishes of the client because it's got that sustainability that we were looking for. Like a lot of the house, we wanted the roof to be modern and crisp. We wanted to be able to detail it as a modern building, but at the same time have these references to a very traditional Scottish building. The Swedish steel product gave us that opportunity to do that and, and get some very refined details going on. So in, in sort of scanning all the products that were out there, I, I came across this green coat product. A material made out of Swedish steel and that sort of ticked the boxes. What I'm fascinated by is the resilience of this coating. It's got a nice sheen to it but it's a very muted earthy colour and what it allows us to do is to tie this whole development together. We have a specific climate in Tallinn. We have uh, more than 50 cold cycles per year, which means that the water freezes and melts again. And uh, it's in winter very harsh for the roofs because you can get easily leaks or just cracks in the material. By choosing the material for the roof, we chose steel because it's good for the thermal expansion, but we needed something which is maintenance free and will be sustainable for the next 50 years. I believe when we have the chance to use metal and steel again, we would uh, use the green coat uh, quite preferably. But uh, the most important, I think, in the end was the, the look of it. That was uh, crucial for me. I wanted this sinus-shaped metal roofing. I looked around, searched for, for uh, that I could combine the shape of the metal panel and the color. In this case, it was only the green coat that had all these criteria. Mm -hmm.